Yeah, you know, tonight we begin with, um, we include tonight, I should say, some important fact checking on a subject that the president often talks about at these news conferences, the subject of testing. But first, how about some good news for a change? Results of a study from the Department of Homeland Security, which actually has a whole science technology section geared toward threats against the country, including bioterrorism. And here is the results from one of those studies. Our most striking observation to date is the powerful effect that solar light appears to have on killing the virus. Bill Bryan, a senior official at the Department of Homeland Security, today revealed the results of a study which concluded ultraviolet light, like we get from the sun, can kill COVID-19 in a matter of minutes, even more quickly than heat and humidity. Here's one more piece of good news. I can tell you that bleach will kill the virus in five minutes. Isopropyl alcohol will kill the virus in 30 seconds. The president made some controversial comments when explaining how these scientific findings might be applied in the real world. Supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, right? And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning. His suggestions are not receiving rave reviews from some medical experts. Uh, very little of what the president said as it pertains to you know, disinfection or uh, you know, phototherapy makes any sense. And if the president thinks that tanning beds are going to cure the uh, coronavirus, he's mistaken. It's not going to happen. Uh, we have to do this through clinical trials and, and real science and, and do the painstaking work. And we're doing it. He just needs to leave it you know, leave it to the professionals. And while many experts agree the virus doesn't thrive in heat, humidity, and UV rays in the laboratory, that doesn't necessarily mean warm weather will lead to a big decline in positive cases. In Australia, it's summer. The epidemic is raging. Iran is in its springtime. The epidemic is raging. The scientific evidence does not support a firm conclusion or expectation that this could go away in hot weather. The president was also asked about this comment today from the nation's leading expert on infectious diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, about whether the U.S. has enough testing materials in place as the nation prepares to get back to work. I am not overly confident right now at all that we have what it takes to do that. We're getting better and better at it as the weeks go by, but we are not in a situation where we say, we're exactly where we want to be with regard to testing. No, I don't agree with him on that. No, I think we're doing a great job on testing. I don't agree. If he said that, I don't agree with him. Yes. The president went on to make a claim he says repeatedly when the question of testing comes up. But as you know, we've uh, done more testing than every other nation combined. And that's a big statement. A big statement that is also a misleading one. Because experts say when trying to deal with a pandemic, the total number of tests is less important than knowing what percentage of the population has been tested. By this measure, the United States is seventh place in the world. Iceland is number one. Having tested 129 out of every 1,000 people in that country, the U.S. has tested 13 people out of every 1,000. If we did 350 million tests, one for each person, the media would say, oh, you should have done two for each person. No matter what you do, it doesn't make any difference. The subject of testing often draws a lot of anger from the president, who continues to maintain that testing is not the responsibility of the White House or the president, but rather it's the responsibility of the governors. Let's go back to you. All right, Randy, thanks.